Hello everybody and welcome back to the Texas Podcast. I am your host Gabe and today we will be talking about the Battle of Galveston. The Battle of Galveston was a naval and land battle of the American Civil War when Confederate forces under Major General John B. Magruder expelled occupying Union troops from the city of Galveston, Texas on January 1st, 1863. After the loss of the cutter Harriet Lane, the Union fleet commander William B. Renshaw blew up the stranded vessel USS Westfield to save her from falling into enemy hands. Union troops on the shore thought the fleet was surrendering and laid down their arms. The battle is sometimes called the Second Battle of Galveston as the Battle of Galveston Harbor in October 1862 is sometimes called the First Battle of Galveston. Two Confederate cotton clads, the CS Bayou City and the CS Neptune, commanded by Leon Smith, sailed from Houston to Galveston in an effort to engage the Union fleet in Galveston Harbor, which consisted of the USS Clifton, the USS Harriet Lane, the USS Westfield, the USS Owasco, the USS Corsifius, and the USS Satchel. Outnumbered 6-2 to two by the northern ships, Neptune was severely damaged by the Union fleet and eventually sank. While Neptune was quickly disabled, Bayou City succeeded in capturing the USS Harriet Lane. During this time, the USS Westfield was grounded on a sandbar. A three-hour truce was called for by Magruder, but Union Fleet Commander William B. Renshaw, ignoring the negotiation offer, attempted to destroy the grounded Westfield with explosives rather than let it fall into enemy hands. Renshaw and several Union troops were subsequently killed when the explosives were set off too early. Union troops on shore were convinced that their own ships were surrendering and therefore laid down their arms. The remaining U.S. ships did not surrender and succeeded in retreating to Union-controlled New Orleans. The Union blockade around the city of Galveston was lifted temporarily for four days, and Galveston remained the only major port that remained in Confederate hands at the end of the war. The Confederate Congress stated that this on the successful recapture of Galveston. The bold, intrepid, and gallant conduct of Major General J. Bankhead Magruder, Colonel Thomas Green, Major Leon Smith, and other officers, and of the Texan Rangers and soldiers engaged in the attack on in victory achieved over the land and naval forces of the enemy of Galveston on the 1st of January, 1863, eminently entitled them to the thanks of Congress and the country. This brilliant achievement resulting under the providence of God in the capture of the war steamer Harriet Lane and the defeat of ignominious flight of the hostile fleet from the harbor. The recapture of the city and the raising of the blockade of the port of Galveston signaling evinces that superior force may be overcome by skillful conception and daring courage. That is all for the Battle of Galveston. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.